Hello, you all. You already know we about to get into. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. What would our Elohim like us to know at this time? We have commitment, and then we got the wild card. Commitment with the wild card, and then we got the five of the five of swords in reverse. the wild card the beach somebody could have somebody could have went to the beach to cleanse themselves Somebody could have been planning for the future, but the future is unpredictable. Somebody could have planned to, you know, or they could have proposed to somebody at the beach. Somebody could have planned for the future, but the future is unpredictable. Something about something being forced here. Somebody could have cleansed themselves in the water. And then we have a peaceful resolution. Somebody could be moving on and in the conflict, communicating something here. Yeah, the page of cups. Somebody somebody could have a crush on somebody. Somebody could want to send somebody some sort of message. What's the page of cups? Somebody could want to apologize too. Somebody was like overindulging in gossip. There's a broken engagement here. There could have been some type of cheating or affair. Yeah, we have thieves. Somebody could have stole something here. Cheating, more cheating, ulterior motives, caution, red flag, beware, danger. So somebody was going to propose to somebody or somebody did propose to somebody. The beach could be significant, but somebody was cheating Somebody was overindulging in gossip, but somebody did want to give this message of love, but somebody could have been childish. So somebody moving on, basically, but somebody thought that they predicted that um, they just knew that they was going to marry this person, and but life could be unpredictable. Somebody actually need to cleanse somebody because somebody is toxic. Yeah. Somebody is more cautious here, being careful. Something could have been delayed. Something could have been delayed. Oh, something was definitely slowed down here. Yeah, somebody put somebody on a pedestal. We have clinginess. Somebody tried to make somebody their whole entire world. Yeah, something was unrequited. We have call. Communication. Somebody could be looking at somebody else like they're their world. But somebody is just deeply unhappy. That's what they communicate. Somebody is unhappy. Um, they want to block whatever this is out. Yeah, this person is at the at a crossroads. This is a stalemate. King of Cups. And then we have Energy Vampire. 
They could be blocking out this energy vampire, somebody low vibrational. Somebody don't want to get married. This man could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Capricorn, Sagittarius, or a Virgo. This man do not want to get married. They, I changed my mind. I don't love you no more. Somebody changing their mind. Because they only wanted they only wanted this person like for status. They was looking at this person like a like a trophy wife or whatever the case may be. But I'm telling you, things change because it's change here with this will of fortune. This person was proud and showing whoever this it this person was showing off and proud to show off a, a, a vampire, a energy vampire, somebody low vibrational, another dark. They were showing this person off. They were showing whoever this is off to people. Because they thought that this they thought that they don't have success with this person. This person could have one or two kids, but this person feel like a fool. Like, this person feel like a fool. We have Aries. Aries again, a magician. This person feel like a fool. They feel like a fool. They feel like they was manipulated into... Um, Starting a new opportunity with somebody, taking charge and having a new passionate beginning. They feel manipulated. So now they want to end whatever this is with the world card. They want to end it. After gaining some sort of knowledge, we got a teacher. There could have been some type of knowledge about children or some type of business project or a pregnancy. These people could have had a home together or something like that or... They were thinking about getting a home. Yeah, this was supposed to be a celebration. This was supposed to be some sort of celebration here. But somebody leaving something out in the cold. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Somebody wounded and they tired. Somebody in despair. There's some type of breakup here. What's this bright idea? I'm telling you, this person, what they wanted to do was to commit into, um, because we got good news. This person was trying to find, you know, a creative way to commit. Now they being cautious. Now they just slowed the shit down. They want to leave con the, the conflict behind, six of swords, and then we have, would you accept? This person was about to propose to the devil. <laughs> Would you accept? And then the devil. <laughs> this person was about to, yep. And then it was going to be in the Ten of Swords. Or this person did give a higher form of commitment to a karmic. That could be that too. Would you accept? And then we have higher commitment. And then we have the devil. This person got into a higher form of commitment and even with that higher fine, gave a higher form of commitment to a devil. But this person was about to also seal it by proposing to the devil. But they could be being more cautious about it. But this person was about to, this person gave a higher form of commitment to a karmic and they got betrayed. Ten of swords. It's going to be like a painful ending or something like that. Somebody could have, we have uh, Capricorn, Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Sag. Yep.
somebody could have thought somebody was loyal and sweet and romantic and all of these things, but they're not. They're actually um, an energy vampire. They're actually low vibrational. Yep, somebody was by. Somebody got with the op. Somebody, somebody gave a higher form of commitment to an op. That was actually reveling against them spiritually. We got Virgo. Now this person could want somebody back. I want you back. Missing you. Regrets. Somebody chose somebody over you. Disloyal. Third party player. This person was taken. This person was taken with this person and a community of people and betrayed you. And committed elsewhere. I'm telling you. So let's see. Hold on. Let's get another deck. Let's see. Let's see. Where my other? No, not that one. I don't want to use land. I haven't used this in a long time. And I got to dig in here. Hold on, y'all. Bear with me. I'm trying to get this. Um... <sighs> We're going to pull some messages before we pull some more tarot. So basically, this is somebody who chose somebody over another person. They gave a, a, a devil karmic, a higher form of commitment, an energy vampire. They ended up getting betrayed by this person, right? They end up getting betrayed by this person. This person was going to marry this person. And then now, they want, I miss you, I want you back, regrets. So I'm going to pull out some of these messages to see, and then we're going to pull out some more tarot. It says here, I know this isn't fair. I pretend you don't mean that much. So this person acted as if you didn't mean that much to them. It says here, I do wish you well. I knew exactly what I was doing. This person knew exactly what they was doing. They was pretending you didn't mean that much. This person did wish you well. This person was not available to you. I was wrong and I'm sorry. Do you want me around? This person didn't you this person didn't want to learn from you. They didn't want to learn from you. I'm so attracted to you. So this person could be attracted to you. This person didn't want to learn from you. They knew what they was doing. They chose somebody over you purposely. They sorry. They, they wonder, do you even want them around? They hope that you could forgive them one day. They're going through their life review. They could be thinking about things, thinking about their life. This person uh, feels like they projected their unhappiness onto you. So this person was also uh, projecting against you. This person uh, could be trying to show you a sign. It says here, um, I know I crossed the line with you. Yeah, this person know they crossed the line. Now, they, they, this person could have been trying to show you some sort of signs, and you could have not been taking heed to the signs. It says here, I know I crossed the line with you. And then it says here, I will wait, from a, I will wait for a sign from you. 
So this person waiting for a sign from you. But you don't trust this person. I'll wait for, for a sign from you. I do not trust you. I'm not coming back. You And then please don't blame yourself. That's in reverse. You're not blaming yourself because you know you didn't do nothing to this person. So this is somebody that you just don't want to deal with. You don't trust them. So you probably ain't going to send them no sign. You don't trust them. You don't plan. You ain't have no plans on coming back towards this person. And you not blaming yourself for whatever this is because this person is the one who hurt you. Look, I realize how much I hurt you. This person hurt you bad. Look, and it, they was careless with you. I was careless with you. They didn't give a fuck about you. They gave a fuck about a low vibrational karmic. They was doing low vibrational shit. Leaving you hurt them too. This person see how all you do for others and how you treat for others. They think you're beautiful. Anything else? This person could hear your voice sometimes. They hope you happy. And they want to be more than friends. They said, I lost myself for a little while. They focused on you instead of their own pain. They want you to take care of yourself. Please take care of yourself. I hope you're happy for me. This person, that's, that came out in reverse. This person know that you're not happy for them or or you could be happy for them, but they don't think that you're happy for them or they don't even want to ask that. Like, I hope you're happy for me. They don't even, they don't even expect that from you, but you could be happy for them. But this person do, they hope that you could forgive them. They hide behind material things and they want you to know they know more than you think they do. They could be happy that it's over with you or with this person that they was uh with. And then we have here, I wish you love and happiness. They were uncomfortable with showing emotion and you don't know how hard it was for them to let you go. How can I help you? They've been, okay, they want to know how can they help you and they've been here before with other people, like endings. This person can no longer feel your energy either. I feel you even when we're apart. No, they don't. They can't. You could have blocked this person off. and see if there's anything else we need to know we have queen of pentacles ice queen hell something could be wrong with this person's health who this person was going to marry Something could be wrong with this person's health. And then we have death. Maybe this person transitioned. Or they're going to transition. Whoever this person is that they was dealing with. Yeah, we have sadness. Uh, grief. This person could be grieving this person that they was celebrating with. This person may end up losing their life. They could have been with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, or Scorpio.
this man could be like in a king of swords energy um trying to detach himself this man made a head over heart decision this is the truth here now they could be thinking more clearly but it's still something going on with their mental they could be silent at this time too this person could also even be paralyzed in fear that something happened to this person or is Yeah, this man could have Virgo, Taurus, Leo, or Libra somewhere in his chart. This person is soul searching, looking within. Trying to receive some spiritual guidance. Because possibly whatever this woman was into that this person was connected with, it's a lot here. Yep, moon. It's a lot of secrets, a lot of deception, hidden intentions, plans, knight of swords, to the seven of swords. This man could have even been doing stuff with this person, and that's why this man is scared, because this person didn't pass away, or they're about to pass away, for what they were doing to other people, possibly even did something to you. Now this man is scared. Because of the action that he was taking. Lying, stabbing you in the back, becoming your enemy, trying to deceive you, uh, trying to trick you, taking from you, spying on you. Or if this is not this man, this is a, a, a more mature man that this, uh, that this other person was dealing with that was doing this shit. You know what you was doing. This, this could be an extra man, or this is that man that was uh, committing to this person, and it was on the same type of time as this woman, and this woman has uh, passed, or is going to, and they like paralyzed in fear, because you truly are pure and angelic, you, you are whoever you said you was, basically, yep, you the son. And then we have justice. You are who you said you are. You're righteous. You're the truth. And something is being illuminated. That light is being illuminated on that. So yeah, this is the end of a. If you was being attacked, this is the end of that. The end of that cycle of you being attacked. Because these people got to learn life lessons. And unfortunately, some of these life lessons is hard. And people got to pass away. For attacking you. For attacking you. These people attacked your money. Tried to sacrifice you. Messed around in your dream state. Did voodoo magic and rituals on you. For, for money. For superficial people. To give the superficial people for gold diggers and shit. So they did all of this bullshit for bullshit too. They attacked your career. These people was attacking and trying to challenge you. And you had to defend yourself. But that is completed. You fulfilled this cycle. You learned life lessons. But there's a cause and effect to which, what people do. And for these people attacking you. And you still remain assertive. You still stood up for your beliefs. These people was challenging you. You was under you was under attack. And now, listen, things is changing. Things is changing. Things is coming to full circle. All you had to endure, you had to endure a lot. You had to wait a lot out. People trying to manifest in your dreams. People doing magic, spell work, rituals. Giving the gold diggers over you and some old shit. So, yeah. They wanted you to fear, they, they wanted you to feel like you couldn't have no new beginning or anything like that because scarcity. I mean, they attacking all your shit. So they didn't want you to be able to have no creative spark or be inspired or anything like that. 
So the plan was to mess in your energy to cause you some sort of imbalance. But you're a goddess energy, though. And you, you have a solid foundation regardless of what's going on. So, and then the, these people was, uh, you could be busy and hard to reach. And if I was you, I'll remain, I will remain unavailable to this community of people, including this man on the real, you could be unavailable and hard to reach, focus on your foundation and your business. Cause I think you should, because these people, when this community had the opportunity to put in some sort of effort towards you, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't put in nothing towards you. And you still had to, you still, you still persevered. They put nothing. So that's why, so you coming out as the queen of cups with the, with the king of swords, because you had to be that masculine back in for yourself too. People try to put illusions around you for you to face some sort of legal issues and shit. But listen, you got the truth here. Ace of Swords, there's a breakthrough and clarity here. You made the correct decision. Just know that you made a correct decision. I don't know about this man or this community or his, his late partner or going to be late partner. These people wanted you to be... Um, what they call outcasted. Yep. They wanted you to be outcasted. They wanted you to be in fear. They wanted you to fear, feel powerless, like some type of imprisonment that they tried to create for you. But you still, but, but you, you still created a new beginning for yourself. You still like was getting some sort of recognition. You still triumph and got a victory over these things. You're receiving some good news. You might even receive some sort of gift or a community could want to share with you. It don't got to be this community. It could be this community, but maybe this community may want to be kind to you now, be fair to you or whatever the case may be. But there is also a community that, you know, wants to give to you, balance things out and support you. It could be a whole different, a whole different community, or it could be this one, but we have here. Yeah. Cause you were sweet. You were compassionate, loving, caring, and these people betrayed you and hurt you and you felt sadness, but you gained knowledge from that. You gain knowledge from that. And this man could be healing or whatever the case may be. So is there anything else we need to know about this? Is there anything else we need to know about this? No. So I'm going to pull up some music and end this with a grateful heart message because it's still always something to be grateful for. Regardless of the situation. We have here Bobby Sessions featuring Megan Thee Stallion. I'm a king. We have R. Kelly pregnant. The Sweeplins under your spell. Eurythemic Sweet Dreams. Wale featuring Neo, White Linen, Coolin. Kiana Lede featuring Ari Lennox, Chocolate. Drake, Mob Ties. Wale, White Shoes. Drake, I'm Upset. Somebody could have even put something on your head. We have Big Timers, number one stunner. We have Janelle Monet featuring Erica Badu, Queen, Houdini, Friends. Chris Brown, Make Love. Wale featuring Kid Cudi, Focused. J. Cole, Apparently. Snoop Dogg, Beautiful. 
Janae Eichel, None of Your Concern, featuring Big Sean, Usher, Seduction. Tony Braxton, He Wasn't Man Enough. Tupac, Only God Could Judge Me. Missy Elliott, Drip Demeanor. J. Cole, Higher. Smokey Robinson and the Miracle, Tears of a Clown. Femmit Forward, Tear Whack, Who Knew? Young Baby Tate, featuring Flo Millie, I Am. Young and May, No Mercy. And Lecrae, Set Me Free. Be Love, My Everything. S-Y-M-L, Where's My Love? Usher, Don't Waste My Time, featuring Ella May. Tony Jones, F-Boys are Tools of Enlightenment. Nas, Full Circle. Tony Jones, Healing Is Not My Purpose. T-Pain, featuring Kalani, Like That. SZA, Hit Different. J. Cole, Is She Gonna Pop? Sugar Free, Why You Bullshitting? I get down while you bullshitting. Wale featuring Meek Mill, Heaven's Afternoon, Daje Key, Statement Remix, Tory Lanez, Enchanted Waterfall, Black Disconnect, Wale Extra Special, Young Rogue featuring Summer Walker, Bullshit, Aaron Wright, Heartbeats, Big Sean, How I Feel, How I Feel, How I Feel, to be around a ninja that's real, Shondella, Chance of Showers, Little Kim Crush on You, Peasy and Rio the Young, Chicken Coop, Big Timers, Still Fly, and MO3, Light Skin Keisha, FVH, and MO3, Broken Love. You tired of Broken Love? Who's out of Broken Love? So some of those songs can have extra messages in there with in there for you. Some of these songs you could have heard recently. But just know, you got justice and you got support. Can I get a Grateful Heart message, please? Would a caterpillar cause the end of the world, the master calls a butterfly. The joy of Yahweh is your strength. We have here the faithful love of Yahweh never ends and his mercies never cease. The joy of Yahweh is your strength. Double confirmation. So you had to remain strong. You, the, How you got through this, whatever this is, through the strength of the divine. Because there were some things being done to you, too. And then there was a whole community against you behind whatever this is. Give thanks to Yahweh and proclaim his greatness. Let the world know what he has done. Yahweh is in control. And therefore, I can give thanks, not because of this situation, but because of the one who directs and rules over it. So this could this could have been not a pleasant situation for you, but you were still grateful. You still gave thanks. Because you know the one who directs and rules over everything. Peace I, leave, uh, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled and neither let it be afraid. Those who hope in Yahweh will renew their strength. You make me glad by your deeds, Yahweh. I sing for joy at what your hands have done. So the divine definitely looked out for you. So I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Peace.